Hooray! So we're having a grand old time. So everything's fucked up because it just failed to create a file for um, the Spider Queen boss, and I was really looking forward to uploading that because it was a pretty one and done 10 20 minute thing. So, I, when I found out about that, I told myself, oh, okay, I'll just go back to an old save. The last save it auto saved over my old save was me finishing the Spider Boss. So, that's fun. What is it with me and this channel and it just losing the data on boss fights and then me having real trouble getting back to that boss fight after that without replaying the whole game, you know? So I'm just gonna like, I'll try and like, I'd have to start a whole new save and do another 10 hours of uh, playing just to show the spider boss fight, but it's basically, it was really neat actually. But she had eyes on the inside of her, like, bulb-style body. And it was a pretty interesting thing, uh, using the hook mechanic we'd established from the flowers before. It was, uh, it was alright. Wasn't much of a challenge or a threat. Oh, we yeah, have cherry breeze. Oh, if it's cherry, awesome. <clears throat> Yeah, so we, yeah, I don't know what happened. I just went through like a nine to 10 recording session at that point with Crash Bandicoot, RE3, and Akami. And it just kind of decided that the spider boss did not exist. And I went through all of our footage, all of the footage I had saved, and it just didn't have it. So I don't know if I accidentally deleted it in a bulk delete of some old stuff because I don't keep copies of everything. Anyway, moving on. Hark, all of the heavens, the earth, the sea. They summon me forth to defeat evil. Boss fight? Better make sure it's actually... Oh, it's Blacker again. Sub-boss fight. You again. To be fair, it was basically Waka. Help the child, another boss, Walker. So, yeah, it's a bit of a boss rush. But not really. Oh, yeah, and there was a bit where we had to stop Susano from brushing down a waterfall on a giant log. It was very short and a really annoying minigame. Oh, I really hope this is actually recording. It says it's recording, but I don't trust it now. Oh, he's baked already. Way to tell him he's in. <laughs> What's wrong? Cat got your dog? Don't worry about that like that. Moi, you say something, my little bouncing friend? That's it. By the way, I saw your battle with the spider lady. Channel didn't. Oh, fuck you, Waka. I felt washed up old wolf like you possibly expect to save the world. We're just saving me, Palm, to be fair. Ridiculous. Boss, you were spying on our battle. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. It's not like I was expecting him to help through battle. Always through battle with this. I don't want to go for it. Oh. We got a new thing from the spider lady as well. She gave us a new disc and it's 
got stuff. We can still do our dodge good. He's just slashing enough. He's going to slash enough and I'm just going to bomb you. Yeah, motherfuckers. Oh, you hit my shield. However, well, I deal with this. Oh. Just die already. I like the combat in this game, but like, we just fought this dude, really. It was like, what, part eight on, part seven or eight on the channel? Then there was part nine, the spider boss would have been part 10, and this is gonna be part 11. So you're thinking like, it's been boss, small other section of platforming, boss, then this guy again, and it's like, yeah, like, get it. You wanna get in the way. Yeah, berm. Take the berm. Oh, I rolled it the wrong way. Oh, it's still caught him. Ow! You're not allowed to hit me. I'm a god, damn it. <laughs> no! I will confound him with my trees. Ha <laughs> ha! He wasn't even looking in that direction. Duh, duh. I guess they stop projectiles if you pull out them a certain way. He's dead. I killed him, everyone. I'm the good guy, me. Pants, pants, not bad. Ah, oh, yeah, you're French, we get it. What do you mean, not bad? You're all out of breath. What do you want? I almost forgot I had a question. Have you been to Lake Hokani? No. Uh, oh, I have. But it's, the moon cave's not there. Uh, oh yeah, that's why. And? We're already 10 hours into the game, dude. You need a MacGuffin, great. <laughs> Good point. I do want to visit Orochi's lair anyway. So then you do not know. Trobian! So the big windmill, mumble mumble. Big windmill. At any rate, I shall have to find it myself. I feel like he's probably going to be a prophecy. I foresee a doggone difficult quest. Our bar, baby. Bye, Waka. At least wait about less, more than an hour for your return this time. Why? It doesn't even matter to us. I can't help you up to know. Oh, I'm glad that you know the plot. It says here, if we, I'm reading from the script, uh, if we do this, it looks like we get this. Uh, so we should probably do that. A pool, that is mystic. When do we get the fishing skill? Without annoying the boy. I feel like we can do it ourselves at some point. Ooh. Slice the rock. Break down the wall. Oh no. Gym tunes are seeping into my head. I went to the gym today. 
And my my own motivation playlist is actually real fucking nerdy. It used to just be like stuff like Lamb of God and Hate Breed and stuff like that, you know, stuff that's like pretty like Yeah. Pretty heavy to a fairly like you you can rely on it being like an aggressive kind of beat. Feel like we were supposed to know how to break these chests open and we just never learned it and we just carried on with our quest and no one ever questioned that. It's kind of fucking weird. Dirt, 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 dirt. The flowers will help. I will restore it. Great. Thanks for telling me how to do it. Time is passing, ever encroaching, breaking away the moments that they make up the dull day. Oh, we may have turned full heel on ourselves. Huh. Huh. Let's look at what I'm doing. I'm lost again. Big win. Uh, I haven't seen a big windmill. Or if I had, I'd complete with that. Hop a dub. Don't think that matters. And it does. Oh, a tree. I like trees. Yeah, my motivation playlist has changed from just endless, pretty aggressive, but like strong beat kind of metal where it's like, yur, yur, yur. and it's Ugh. and it's kind of turned into just me going, Oh look, here's the Doom OST. I like, start off with the only thing you know, the only thing they fear is you. They change the BFG division. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, uh, then, oh, what else was I listening to? Apparently that wasn't good enough. I am at a weird camera angle. Then I was, like, listening to, what was it? Just video game OSTs. It was, like, trying to find the original version of Subhuman by Devil May Cry. They want to bury that track, but I like it because it's just screaming and like a fairly easy to follow, you know, beat, which is really helpful for working out. It's just, and that's a really powerful kind of line, like you cannot kill me kind of thing. That's pretty good. So I like that. Um, then I was listening to Metal Gear Rising soundtrack, which has been a hot minute. That stuff kicks ass. It's really helpful for working out. Stuff like the only thing I know for real, Stranger I Remain, I'm My Own Master Now, and all of this stuff. So sometimes I have a workout where I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to listen to brutal fucking death metal and heavy metal core and shit, and just be like, oh yeah, fucking And other times I'm like, doom. <laughs> it's just funny. Oh look, the big windmill. Didn't that stoner prophet talk about the, the... They're worried about the people who live around there. Don't trust windmills. Got a problem with windmills, brother? Yeah, so sometimes I have like a... Well, all burbs. Burbs like seed. Here you go, burb. So yeah, I kind of like change up my workout. Sometimes it's... Um, video game OSTs where I'm like, these video game OSTs kick ass and I don't care what people say. Or I'm like playing uh, just Lamb of God and stuff like that. Uh, sometimes when I'm having a more chill workout, I just listen to White Snake, Def Leppard. It's really weird actually. Like if I'm there quite late and I'm just doing some like easy lifting and just going at my own pace because it's empty. I'm just listening to stuff like White Snake is this love. <laughs> Things like that is really weird. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, get a good mix in. Stuff like Death Angel is pretty good. Uh, Death Angel has some crowbar sometimes, but normally some Slipknot, some early era Slipknot, like Heretic Anthem. Uh, 
sometimes some new Slipknot, but not very often. Uh, it's a bit like psychosocial sometimes around that era. I have some stuff from there. Uh, what else do I listen to? Uh, I used to just sometimes just put on when I, when I was allowed to have an iPod before Apple bricked it. Uh, because you know, you're not allowed to own your own music. Use a streaming service. We make more money that way. And it's not going to the artist. Yay! More money for Apple and Spotify. Anyway, I used to listen to basically entire live albums of Iron Maiden. So I'd have like Maiden in England. Uh, or like Live After Death. They were my two favorites. And then sometimes I'd swap them out for like. Um, because I've listened to the studio albums about 100,000 times because I'm a hardcore Maiden fan, because I'm crazy. And I was part of the fan club for ages until China started blocking my Maiden shirts because they're assholes. Horse. Horses eat meat. Horses don't just eat herbs. Okay. No, don't cry. Cry. He's crying. Yeah. Yeah, I used to listen to that. I used to have the Rock in Rio as well, and Donington, the Live in Donington CD, and a few other live ones that I used to just go through. Oh, in Vivo, and the Flight 666, I'd just go through them, and I'd just be using that while I'm working out. But I got so used to hearing Die With Your Boots song and stuff like that, that I just got to the point where I was like, eh, yeah, it's not really doing it for me anymore. Used to do a lot of Black Label Society, stuff like Stronger Than Death and stuff. I don't want to play the horse. <laughs> uh, yeah, Black Label Society, stuff like that. Pretty good uh, for that kind of stuff. Sometimes Slash, but that was more like I listened to that as like more chillish music or when I'm in a different kind of mood. Oh, where will you take me, sir? Yeah. No, I'm yeah. What do you want, babe? I thought I saw another one. It's there. Now where? I see something down there. What is that? There's like a weird fairy circle down there. Gotta go che check it out. The grass will stop me from falling to my death. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a mole. I was looking at it from the old angle. It's like, is that a fish in the wall in the ground? Hey, 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 stop right there. I'm from Animal Crossing. You didn't save properly. How dare you walk around? Rude. Moly of the molsters. Okay, that's pretty strong. <laughs> Molster leader moly. All of the territory beneath Taka Pass is under our control. Can't just allow people to come wandering in as they please. Sure, you motherfucker. I'm gonna throw down here. You're not an intruder. This is my land. A cold color thing used in shops. Huh? Oh, I get it. You're a pack of fees extorting money. Well, pigs will fly before you shake us down. We should teach you a lesson. Ha ha ha, you've got some nerve. You're a fucking mole and I'm the god of nature. <laughs> like... Come on! Molsters, special dust cloud formation. Look at these sentai moles. Is this whack-a-mole? This is whack-a-mole. <laughs> this is whack-a-mole of the molster moles. Ooh, you little... No, don't do it! He always sits on the place, doesn't he? Yeah, okay. 
Spur down. No, kitty, no. Good. Trying to pick a fight? No, I just headbutt you twice with funds. Oh, he's there now. Oh, he's still there now. Sneaky bastard. Oh, fine. That didn't count, apparently. Yeah, I don't understand. How do you manage to stand up to our special dust cloud trick? Had enough? That'll teach you. Don't mess with the literal gods of time and nature. Prime doesn't pay. Ellipses. Yeah. That's a terrible salt story. I was lonely, so I committed crime. Join a club. Oh, so you're a narcissist. Great. Oh, look, the mole's a narcissist. Hey, everyone. That's a good excuse to be an absolute insufferable cunt. Remember that. Yeah, this is getting strange. Yeah. Bye. Play whack a mole later. What the hell is this? Can I examine it? No, oh, apparently not. Uh, just taking this. I don't know where I'm taking this. I don't even know who needs it. I don't know if I was supposed to do this yet. Convenient if this is the windmill, this Kusa village. <sighs> map? Yes, map. Oh, there's a there's another sapling over there. Uh, oh, I did it. <laughs> oh, it's a doggo. Doggo's like meat. I love narcissists, don't you? I needed attention, so I acted like a fucking cunt, and now everyone hates me. I don't understand. It's almost like if I just do things for attention, it's a really terrible way to live, and I shouldn't do that. Oh well, I have no moral compass, so I'll just continue to be a fucking asshole and do shitty things because I know it gets attention. <laughs> You can easily change and be a good person and get positive reinforcement. No, that's hard. So I'm just going to be a bitching, shit-stirring asshole. Okay. I have a disability. It's called being a fucking asshole. Oh. This is still a toxic area. But it's not. I'm not taking damage. Grumpy Granny. Ha! Oh. You are horrible. The horrible Mrs. Kill. There you go. Bye. Ain't got time for that. Oh, the assholes. Is this Asshole Valley? Ghosts. I'll get over here. I don't know what the gold thing is. I'm just holding on to it until I know what I need it for. Oh, there's a window. Oh, stop caring. Being upset because I'm doing things that aren't good. Ooh. Literally just saw the windmill. Am I just going insane? Oh, that's not a windmill. I'm not good at this. Yeah. 
There's a, a lot of stuff in this area. Feels like it's a new area, but it also feels like it's the wrong new area, you know what I mean? Like I'm supposed to be going for a different area with an actual windmill in it. Oh, well there's a windmill. It's over there. Over where? There? Oh my god. Green hurts. Oh. How do? Oh, you just clip through that. Okay, so the string isn't real. Awesome. Ah, uh, someone will need this. But I just did everything out of order because I just jumped down and talked to a mole. The fuck, man. That's so weird. Okay, let's go talk to him first. There's a ghost the whole time. Have you caught the scent of it? Of what? You just walk through the... I don't know how you didn't walk through the archway. It's right in the middle of the path. I saw one of the young sparrow girls coming out. That's I'm sure it must be around somewhere. Here. Everything here. Oh, I can't even bother these people. <laughs> Let's see what's down here. And then we might call it because my cat's being stinky. Complaining. So I didn't hug him for at least an hour. He's very needy. He's only like one and a half though, so. This isn't a windmill at all. It's a sanctuary. Oh. Hey, 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 Chip. Hey, you, Scruffy, what are you doing in the sanctuary? I don't want to talk. That innocent look on your face. You have a lot of nerve for a wolf. That for the sparrow clown, we can't just let you turn around and leave. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Do you even know who? No, I don't. Oh, okay. The Great Jamba. Weird name for a sparrow. Big Daddy Jamba. <laughs> Chub. Uh oh. He's angry. What's going on? Listen up. The boss's precious daughter's been kidnapped and he's mad. We're doing everything we can to find out. We searched all over. No one's getting through that gate until she said it's time. So go on off. Is that it? So let me guess who has to find her. Oh, I lost my fingo. A fingo. Don't even know what it was. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I'm trying to like save the game, you nerd. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why have to? I just want to see. I just want to nick stuff and then take your stray bead. I'll save the game. And well, then we'll leave it there. It's kind of uneventful, I'm sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm just kind of exploring a new area. Notice I end up doing everyone's work for them, though, you know? <laughs> like, these games are always a bit like, hey, to progress, you have to help this lady create a new laundry pole, and you've got to help this man do a dance, and you've got to, like... You know, I was like, I, I thought it was about restoring nature. It's like, yeah, it is that, but you also have to help these people who are absolutely hopeless. And you're like, okay. These feel like mini games. Oh well. It's fun. I'm not complaining too much. <laughs> 